just brought in a mysterious box of candy, and the girls are loving it. To eat or not to eat? Eat, of course, it's candy. Who's that? A candy boy offering them candy. They don't know how to share. Candy makes time go slow. Caroline always keeps her mouth open, and here's why. The weird stranger is up to something. I told you so. Now we see where the kids who love candy keep disappearing. Now the girls are trapped in his secret lair. What if they turn it into a sweet room? Let's go, girls! That crazy guy is trying to torture us. He has tools and an evil plan. Jenny doesn't like this. She wants to go home. She ripped out the door handle. Well, it's just made of chocolate. Caroline and Kylie like it here, but Jenny is losing her mind. She's ready to fight. If a sweet room's what you want, she'll make the sweetest room in the world. But she's out of spray paint. Kylie's allergies are finally coming in handy. The wall is done. Thanks. Don't sneeze anymore, though. Caroline is ready to play along. Only chocolate could distract her. But it melted. She's not worried, though. This is the best paint ever. Now she has a chocolate wall. And some paint left over. Kylie found a whole package of balloons. Now we're ready to party. Oh, Jenny has a great cactus. It's dancing. And it's got its eye on Caroline. Who could say no to that? Kylie just wants to keep it far away from her balloons. A balloon ceiling is cool. But what about all this ice cream? The cones could come in handy. Just put light bulbs in them and make a string of lights. Kylie's ice cream came in handy. Now her bunk is going to be shiny and sweet. Here's hoping she doesn't eat the light bulbs. She might think that's a bright idea. Kylie has Skittles, so all is well. Throw a Skittle and make a wish. Want pillows? Here you go. Hey, red light, stop. That's good. No, stop. Now you can go. The pillows match the rest of Kylie's decorations perfectly. The girls aren't exactly neat. And not one of them is planning on cleaning. They'll have to leave it up to luck. Uh-oh. Now they have to wait for it to come back down. It grew. Well, we won't wait much longer. Let's put this time to good use. Now Caroline won't skip dessert. And she'll actually clean. Someone has to. Kylie eats a lot. And why shouldn't she? She doesn't want to eat this donut, though. Now she has a mirror. But she's out of lipstick. Lipstick, donut, what's the difference? Now she has the sweetest lips ever. Big macaroons are amazing, but they're not for eating. We'll use it as decorations. It's worth it. Best food delivery ever. Kylie doesn't share for free. Nothing personal, just business. Jenny is as naive as Caroline is sneaky. Where's my candy? What? Sorry, don't shoot the messenger. There's no candy, though. The girls are fighting. Caroline better destroy the evidence. A lollipop chair is cool, but sticky. Jenny is cleaning it. The colorful spiral is hypnotizing Caroline. Her brain turned off. What's more mesmerizing, the spiral or the candy? You could tell her anything right now. Wake up! Jenny thought Caroline was a flower. What? She's blooming. Try out the new chair. What? Now she's stuck. I told you. She'll have to stay like this for a while. Jenny is having a nightmare that there's no more sugar in the world what? and everything's salty instead. There's a surprise under her pillow. This ice cream is giving her an idea. Yeah. Put it on the wall. There's no such thing as too much. What a great idea. But make sure your roommates don't lick it. Caroline doesn't have time. 
She's too busy coming up with her own ideas. There are no more good materials. Maybe she can borrow some tool from Kylie? It's not like she'll notice. Caroline came up with a sweet decoration. What could be better than huge candy? Kylie thought it was real. Did she recognize her own tool? No. Wait, yes, she did. Was Kylie planning on changing? We better hide this for now. Hmm? Jenny's okay. She just had way too much candy. While she was sleeping, it melted all over the bed and she got what? stuck. People did warn her that her addiction might not end well. Caroline is planning something crazy. Mentos? She's not gonna pour Coke over them, is she? A magician never reveals her secrets. But now she has huge Mentos. This seems dangerous. The best defense is offense. Attack! She pierced the bottle lids with a straw. That's really magic. Her friends never suspected a thing. What else can Caroline's magic potion do? She's gonna pour it on everything now. Let's try to make something else huge. A giant cookie! Jenny shouldn't have touched the magic potion. Oh no, how are you gonna play rock, paper, scissors now? She'll keep them, of course. The perfect midnight snack. We're done building. Now we can rest and eat. What's this? No way! They were just the crazy candy boy's doll this whole time? Finally, Jenny and Caroline have their own room. They don't have to live under the stairs anymore. The room looked bigger in the pictures. That's okay, they still have some of their lottery money left. They can just remodel everything. Who's hiding in here? Caroline said no pets. Jenny will have to hide. The girls built a bunk bed. Now there's enough room for everyone. This tool canopy is amazing. And a hammock goes on top, just because. Caroline shouldn't have put her bag in there. Jenny's cat ringtone is scary. Caroline is starting to get suspicious. And Ginger doesn't like the bag. There's no food in it. Oh, Caroline is so mad. What's this paw print on the wall? Explain it to me. Oh, of course. It's just a decoration. She draws these prints on the wall because she loves cats but can't have one since Caroline says she can't. Caroline wants to decorate her wall too, so she can keep up with Jenny. Good thing she has plenty of cardboard, but no scissors. Whose claw is this? Caroline has a guess. Is Jenny doing her nails at home again? Nope, she just broke a nail. And here are the scissors. Now Caroline can decorate. That's a cool map. Now Caroline won't mix up Austria and Australia anymore. But she'll never know where the cat is. Ginger's a sneaky guy. Jenny needs lighting for her bunk. And she has everything she needs. She made a very cool lamp. Now she can read. Her new friend is interested in the lamp too. The switch looks like a toy. Thanks, Mom. This is fun. This is like a party. And Ginger likes to party. But we need a bigger house to have a real party. OK, chill your whiskers for now. Who is Jenny talking to? Her imaginary boyfriend again? He's a bad influence on her. No, she's talking to Ginger, who's the best influence. Caroline's such a nerd. She has a whole library in her bag and everything but the kitchen sink. Seriously, even a model of the solar system. It can go above the bed. She'd love to go to space someday. But for now, that's only possible in her dreams. She won't throw this cardboard away because she can cut cute cat faces out of it. Now Jenny has shelves and Ginger has friends. Caroline's not his friend. Did she crack Jenny's secret? Is that a real cat? She can't believe her eyes. 
Did Jenny bring a huge monster into this tiny room? Of course not. A real friend would never do anything like that. Caroline was just seeing things. These are just shelves. Now Caroline has a makeup mirror. The only accessories she has are academic achievement awards. But cardboard, scissors, paint, and a brush can make an amazing sign. And she'll display her medals, too. Jenny's never won an award, but she can still have a chocolate medal. The school water cooler is so awesome. Jenny has the same one at home. What a coincidence! Jenny has big plans for this bottle. A little creativity. And now she has a cool plant stand. With room just for Ginger. Caroline can smell that something's wrong. Jenny quickly turned it. Oh, Caroline's allergic to flowers. No wonder boys never give her any. Caroline loves fake plants, though. She has a whole garden on her wall. Jenny seems interested. Ginger's already chewed on the plants. Oh, he should cover his tracks. But Jenny will cover them for him. She really loves her cat. The garden is ruined. So is Caroline's mood and Jenny's appetite. Jenny's always late because of Ginger. He just won't let her get to class on time. He's such a troublemaker. Jenny needs to make a clock that Ginger will like. She'll use whatever she can find to make it happen. Oh yeah, he'll definitely like this. Jenny knows what Ginger wants. Perfect. Ginger is crawling around somewhere, and Caroline has a new rug. Bad timing. Jenny thought it was made out of her cat. She can't believe Caroline's cruelty. CPR won't help here. Jenny should have paid more attention in her first day classes. It's not made out of cat at all, though. Oh, yay! Let's celebrate with some balloons. Caroline has hated balloons her entire life. And cats. They always claw up everything, like Jenny's sweater. Ginger needs something to sharpen his claws on, like yarn on a flower pot. All this gardening and thinking Caroline's suspicious. Jenny says she knows what she's doing. This is what the plant needs. Okay, but it's poisonous. You shouldn't have touched it with your bare hands. What's that smell? It smells fishy. This toy is too realistic. But Jenny likes it. She almost got caught. But Caroline doesn't suspect that Jenny spent six hours fishing for this one pathetic little fish, which Ginger won't even eat. Caroline loves knitting. Jenny calls her grandma for a reason. Someone's at the door? No, there's no one here. That's a stupid joke. Wait, is that a wheel? Is this a prank or a gift? It's going in Caroline's room either way. She can do something with it. She has so much yarn. She can use this wheel as a table. The more decorations, the better. But the delivery guy got mixed up and sent the tire to the wrong place. Caroline okay. has no idea. She didn't sign up for anything. Jenny made a special elevator for Ginger's food. He eats a lot, like a lion. But she lost control of the elevator and it went to the wrong floor. Caroline saw the cat food. But Jenny is telling her that there's no cat here and the food is for her. Caroline is worried about her friend. She needs to eat human food. Jenny likes the attention. All her acting classes are paying off. Caroline is positive that her roommate has a cat. Here it is. Oops, those are just Jenny's headphones. Caroline is getting seriously paranoid. 
Or maybe her roommate's just gaslighting her. Caroline is out of space for plants. Maybe her roommate can fit them in? Oh, she has something that'll change the whole vibe in here. Einstein's head as a planter. What a great combination. Caroline found a clump of fur. This proves that there's an animal in this room. Jenny can't dodge this accusation. She'll need a good lawyer. Their lease clearly says no pets allowed. So what kind of animal is shedding this fur? It looks like a homo sapien. This is Jenny's hair. She needs better shampoo. And a less crazy roommate. No, this is definitely a cat. Did you see this? Jenny can explain. There's nothing okay. to explain, actually. But Jenny loves Ginger and love breaks boundaries. Caroline is going to get revenge. Maybe a dog will make Ginger move out. No, they'll get along better than the girls. In this world, money is power. Some people would give anything to get an education. But other people would spend a million bucks to get popular. Honestly, Caroline doesn't even need the money. She's already popular. The amount of money you have affects how easy it is for you to solve problems in your life. <laughs> Caroline doesn't waste time. She solves this math problem using money. <laughs> As for Jenny, she spends all her extra cash on tutoring. Unlike Caroline, she only uses her head to solve problems. And the results are totally worth it. Jenny knows more digits of pi than anyone else in school. The teacher is really impressed. Caroline is really talented too, though. She's a great cheerleader. The local team loves her. But that team is called the Poor Bulls. And Caroline doesn't like that. She'll have to be the team's financial manager. Because she'd rather cheer for the rich bulls. Wow! Maybe money can buy everything. If you want to be popular, you have to look the part. But how can we fix this table? Just support it with cash! Caroline has so much money that she uses it to fix all sorts of stuff. But the table is only one issue. The chair is wobbly, too. How about a gold bar? That'll make the rocking chair stop rocking. If all the rocking chairs in the world vanish, it's probably because Caroline paid for it. Modern technology is amazing. <laughs> but Caroline only ever uses it for fun. She just tested a new filter on Jenny. And now Jenny's even more unpopular. Jenny wants to get revenge, but her phone isn't up to date. She'll have to get creative. She films a cool video that gets a ton of views. How you like that, huh? Three cheers for sweet revenge. Jenny isn't popular at all. And Caroline wants revenge for that video. So she trips her. But she didn't drop anything. Everyone is impressed. The secret is that she has a giant magnet attached to her tray. Yeah, science is power, too! Caroline's plan failed again! Caroline still isn't satisfied. She wants to show Jenny who's boss, so she needs another great prank. She just has to unlock Jenny's phone. Hmm, the fingerprint didn't work. Caroline, no luck again? Jenny's not as easy to prank as she seems. Fingers won't unlock her phone because she used her toes! We'll have to put Caroline and Jenny's rivalry on pause. At least during the exam. 
because Caroline isn't prepared at all. And she needs to do something about it. She can't cheat. So she'll just buy some spy tech. She'll hear all the right answers in her earpiece. And she'll ace the test. But actually, Caroline gets a nap. Next time, before you blow all your money, check the reviews, Caroline. When you have a lot of money, the school cafeteria can offer you a great selection. But in Jenny's case, she doesn't have as much to choose from. She only has one coin, so she orders a glass of water. But even a glass of water costs two coins. Jenny can only drink half a glass. Poor thing! Thank you. Luckily, she has food in her locker. But lockers aren't designed to store food. Jenny's going hungry today. But Caroline can afford a very special locker. With a built-in fridge. Although eating cold food isn't always good. So that's why Caroline got a microwave set up in the next locker. Pizza is delicious! <laughs> Chemistry is probably one of the most interesting subjects at our school. Even Caroline likes it. But she's still looking for a way to make a buck. She hopes she can get even richer by creating gold out of random things. She even made something that was kinda close. But the liquid was too sticky. And now she needs to wash her hands. Jenny knows what to do. Just combine alkali, fat, and water and make soap. Jenny has it ready so fast. Caroline, you should be more like Jenny. Then you wouldn't have to wipe your hands with cash. Getting ready for class is so stressful. At least, it is for Jenny. Her iron sometimes ruins her favorite clothes. If only she had an iron like Caroline. It can make expensive things even more valuable. Jenny only has her smarts. She sees any test as an exciting brain exercise. But Caroline sees thinking as so last century. She relies on modern technology. Why use your brain when you can have super glasses solve everything? This is an awesome gadget. But unfortunately, the battery dies really fast. And she can't charge them because nobody has a charging cable like this. The only people with these glasses are Caroline and Elon Musk. And he's not here today. Did you like our new video? Then be sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.